There you go. Lots of books. Oh, hey, little boy, it's from the garage. Yeah, it's just hiding there. Let's play Akazu Off Limits. Hello and welcome to Hula New Play Short in your games. Today I'm going to play a game by Studio DYD. And this is a short walking simulator of 10 to 15 minutes. Um, this is the first work of the developer. They put in... <laughs> The terms of use on the Edge page, which I don't think I've ever seen. Like, this is really someone who seems to be very detail-oriented, so I'm looking forward to the to the game. This story, it's not really a story, it's more like a teaser of atmosphere. I found myself lying in a strange place, which you so often do. I had no idea where I was or why I had come here. It's typical psychological horror beginning, right? The only thing I knew was that I had come looking for something. So it's a very typical beginning. Uh, so let's see if it's a typical game or if we will have some surprises waiting for us. Okay, hopefully I will not forget all this again. Bop, enter. I found myself lying in a strange place. I had no idea why I was or why I had come here. The only thing I knew was that I had come looking for something. That's me when I go into the kitchen and I was like, wait. Why am I here? What did I want to do here? Also, I read in the comments, slow walking, but that's not nothing unusual, to be quite honest, with games like this. Here we go. Didn't even need to tell me, I already knew that. Yeah. That's probably a bad sign, right? If the if the gate fell over. I'm not used, like, I'm not very knowledgeable about Japanese culture, um, which means, well, first of all, I will not make fun of it, you know, uh, but also I cannot really make insightful comments on this. I know a lot of Let's Players, you know, are so into Japanese culture, but yeah, I'm... But maybe I'm just saying this because I watch Gaps Motors. Oop. Heard some up. Oh. Well, hello there. Okay. That would be... Well, if I don't know why I'm here and everything looks abandoned, maybe I would still go forward just to see if there's someone else. And she speaks Japanese and she lived in Japan, I think, for quite a while. So she's really into it and knowledgeable about it. I learned from her that they have like uh, insects, um, not caterpillars, maybe, uh, that are like super toxic, you know, that if, if you get bitten by them and they're super large also, oh, then you need to go to the hospital. Fun times, right? <laughs> like I'm from Germany, we don't have a lot of insects that could kill us. Is that salt? Maybe? Also, if you watch and you know more about this, and I make like comment like, is that salt, maybe? Then, you know, feel free to educate me and whoever else goes through the comments. So do we want to take off our shoes? Well, we don't have legs, so I don't think we need to take off our shoes. Ugh. Don't like the sound my feet make. Anyone home? Do I want to take this with me? No, I won't. The 
So many doors. Damn, it's a big place. It really is. I will leave all the doors open. Um, just so I know where I've been. And I hope they stay open. Do I first want to go outside or do I... Well... I, hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe follow that person that definitely is not a ghost. I mean, black and white. <laughs> this... I oh, hold that sound. I don't like it. It feels like I'm so big and heavy that I'm not even human. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, let's stomp our way out of here. I mean, locked up tight. Are these those? It's my ignorance talking. Um, but you put them on to basically keep something locked, not just you know like like spiritually locked I don't know um, there you go lots of books oh hey little boy it's from the grudge yeah it's just hiding there okay but he looked kind of happy so I guess that's fine I don't know what I would do if I would see an actual ghost. I mean, from what I know, ghosts are a lot about vibes, you know, that they you immediately know if it's a good thing or not because it feels a certain way. Like, if you're filled with terror, then it's a bad vibe and it's a ghost or a demon that wants to harm you. And if it's just, you know, okay or sad vibes, then usually you're fine. So I'm not sure. Like, the kid ghost looked like good vibes. What is this? Oh, it's in the room. Okay. So let's go outside um, in the back yard and see what we'll find there. Because I don't... Oh. Someone dropped a key, but where? Shit. Were the shoes always there? Did I miss those? I think we're slow, but I, I expected it to be slower. I think I played games where I was much slower. Um, since I do enjoy... It's still locked up tight. Um, I do like walking simulators. Wait, did this? No, I opened it from the other side. Um, and in and, and walking simulators, for some reason, a lot of developers think, well, walking means, you know, just the slowest walk you can imagine. I wonder where we heard that key drop. It, it sounded so close. What's this? Oh, hi! You're another girl. You also look nice. They, they look so nice. They look kind. I don't... So far, the ghost sightings were not too creepy. I say this as I play this game. In real life, I'd be, you know. Oh, there's the key. Oh. Yeah, I was wondering if I if something changed in this room. Um, but I'm usually really bad with that. Like, I don't... I could never play those observation duty games because I just, I don't, I don't see it. I just don't. Unless it's like a big old monster in the middle of the room. Oh, it's me. It's me. I thought someone was there because that's, that sound would scare me shitless. If I were in my flat and I suddenly heard this behind me, oh, no. Okay. So we got some 
pretty friendly ghosts. Like, they didn't attack us. They look kind of nice. Alright, let's go. Oh. Methods of sealing? Place a sacred paper tag. Place heaping salt. I knew it. On the north front Ogemon, east south back Ogemon. And west grounds. Perform Kagura, Shinto music and dance. Maybe salt is not everywhere. But didn't we already... Wasn't this done already? Because we saw the paper tag. Okay. So we'll have to find um, maybe salt. But do we get it here? Hi. Hi. Okay. Oh. But it looked like they already tried to do it. Do I have to find salt now? Because I don't know if it was everywhere in all those places. So do I have to check that? Why would I do that? Am I the demon? Right? It's weird that I... D destroy it, basically. I mean, I thought it was a ritual to clean the place. Or was... Do, we, do you have to remove it afterwards? Look at me. If it was just me stumbling on it, I don't even know if I would touch anything. I mean, I learned from horror movies, especially if you don't know what you're doing, just don't touch anything. Don't read anything out loud. Don't... Don't wiggle the music instrument, you know? <laughs> just in case, you know... I think there's one. Also, I get an itchy. I don't know why I get always an itchy nose when I'm doing let's plays. But also, it's allergy season. It feels like it's allergy th season all year round nowadays. And I read it got worse, actually, like factually worse for people. You get like allergies that where the tests are like negative. Okay, and then on the front, we also have it. Anyone want to tell me? Any of the ghosts want to tell me if I'm what I'm doing is right or wrong? I probably have to remove the, the seal, the protective seal. Which, I wouldn't do it. I don't know, I would have I used the phone to call an Uber and get out of here. Uh, and not mess with the rituals. But maybe the person knows what they're doing because... It's said that they, when they woke up they knew they had to find something. So maybe they need to find the origin of the haunting. Um, I think we have two more salt heaps in front of the house. Maybe. Okay. 
Okay, I think we did it. And now we have to remove the... So far the ghosts were nice. I'm not quite sure this holds true for the... Because they were not kept with the protective seal. But this was. Whatever is in here. Oh, this is nice. But also... Very creepy. What is this? Is this an ear or tongue? I can't move, by the way. Hey there, mate. What? Oh, that's me, the invisible person. I don't know what it said. I don't know, was it English or was it Japanese? I like the concept of just walk, waltzing in there and removing the protective spell um, ritual. And actually, I, I want to know what happened. This story is a work of fiction. The characters, organizations, names, etc. appearing in the story are made up. Well, yeah, I, I, I thought so. I thought so. I kind of liked it. Um, I think for a first project, it was really good. Uh, the leading and the like, you knew what you had to do with the gameplay, which is always something uh, because I can be a bit of a doofus, you know. Uh, I mean, I started this channel three years ago, I think. Yeah, it's already been three years. So I can't say that I'm a, I'm a total beginner when it comes to indie horror games or playing them. I watched a lot of Let's Plays before that, but I didn't play a lot of them before I started this channel. But I still enjoy when a game, and I think it's very important, and it's one of those things that if it works, you don't really notice, but if it doesn't work, you totally do. That if you walk through a game, that you kind of know what the next steps are or what you could do next. Um, especially for short games, you know, because with bigger games, you usually have more options. You know, you can, I don't know, get good, uh, you can train, you can do stuff, fight collectibles, whatever. You have y usually more avenues to explore. But with very short games, it's usually very straightforward. So that needs to be, uh, you know, clear to the player. So I liked it in this case that it was quite clear. Um, that I even found the key. I mean, I looked around for it a little bit, but I think it was pretty, pretty obvious uh, once we were in the kitchen. The sound, I think, was too close to my ear because I thought when I heard the clinking of the key, it sounded so close to me that I didn't think it was in the kitchen, to be quite honest. But since I know indie games, I thought, well, maybe it's more a sound issue and less the signifier of where the key dropped. It's just a signifier that the key dropped somewhere. So it was fine. Um, yeah, and I like kind of the story that you do this really not smart thing <laughs> of removing a protective spell, I guess, to get out because the gate closed behind us. And I think that's why we do it. We remove everything so we can go out again, but then maybe we're not the only one that gets out, you know. So yeah, kind of liked it. We'll follow the developer and see what they come up with next and if they expand this game. Um, I thought it was really nice. Uh, some references towards, I thought of the grudge. Like, I see a, I see a little boy in a cupboard. <laughs> and that's the grudge, you know. So that's also, it's a nice reference. What did you think to to the viewers? Also, uh, if you know more about you know the salt heaps and I mean I knew I think I basic I knew the basics because it's also in a lot of horror games you know the the seal and salt in general. As I said, weirdly enough, across the world it's kind of this thing where you ward off evil with, uh, which is interesting. I'm always I think it's always so interesting if certain things 
superstitious things kind of cross cultures and even like the seas, you know. Uh, and the same goes for myths and legends, where you feel like, well, every single culture has a certain legend of something that sucks blood or something that you know possesses someone so that's always really intriguing to me but if you know more background um, around this then feel free to educate me in the comments i don't know what that accent was uh and otherwise if you're new to this channel i play a lot of any horror games so if you enjoyed the rambling you know feel free to subscribe and i promise you if you go through all the hassle to protect uh, you know this to go through the whole ritual set up the salt have the protective seal i will not just rip this away blow the salt away just so i can get out you know i because i can climb i can climb you know at worst case scenario i would have found like i would have moved around the furniture and then climbed over the wall and be done with it uh because i feel like if there's a ritual to protect something or to keep evil off, if there's a, if I would ever see a room and there was like the seal in front of it, I, I don't think I would, if I didn't have to, I would not enter that room. I would not force myself into that room. So subscribe. Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you next time. Bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.